Good morning, afternoon, or evening. How y'all doing today? Welcome back to uh, Mr. Moore's Eyes 1 and 2 class. Alright, guys, today we're going to finalize, well, not finalize, but really hopefully um, wrap up this concept of functions. Um, I, I think this is going to make things congeal and come together really well. We learned about relations, but a function is any relation, so a function is a relation, but a relation is not necessarily a function. A function is, a re is any relation where each element of the domain corresponds exactly to one element of the range. In other words, it is a relation where there can only be one y value for any given x value. If you remember the example I gave you from uh, going to the movies, okay, or buying buying a burger. Let's say you go to whatever ABC Burgers, and they and they cost six dollars a burger. In their computer, it's six dollars per burger X. Y is the total cost. So if I go in and buy two burgers, my total cost is going to be twelve. But if my mom and dad come in right behind me and they pay fifteen, there's something wrong. That means that they're just giving random prices. You can't do that in a business. So they have a set function, a set formula. So a function is a relation where there can only be one y for any given x value. Okay, determine whether each function, each relation is a function. Okay, here for a, no. Why? Okay, very good. There are two different y values for the same x. When x is 1, y is 8, and when x is 1, y is 4. That's not a function. How about number 2, or b? Yes. When x is 1, y is 8. When x is 1, y is 8. Now remember, when it's 2, it's 8, and it's 3, it's 8. What kind of an equation is that? Remember this, guys, where it goes horizontal? That's a y equals 8 with a 0 slope. Great job. Great memory because we're going to be using that in next section. C. No. Hope you guys noticed something. Okay. You can most definitely have the same y's with different x's. For sure. That is a function. However, if you have the same x's, it's not a function. It's undefined slope. Why? Because this equation looks like this. And aren't there a bunch of different y's for the same x there? So that is impossible. So this is a no. How about D? Yes. yes. No repeaters. How about E? No. no. When x is 1, y is 5. When x is 1, y is also 9. Negative. Does that make sense? How about F? No. When X is 4, Y is negative 1. When X is 4, Y is 1. How about G? Yes. yes. Very good. This is a good one. I, I put in a very similar numbers, but there are no repeaters with different Ys. Excellent. Next. Determining whether a relation expressed as an equation represents a function. Okay, this is very simple. When a relation is expressed as an equation, you must verify that there is only one, not only on, there is only one y value or output for any given x value, geez Louise, or input. Sorry, make those corrections. My bad. Simply test one x value, and if it renders two or more different solutions for that same x value, then it is not a function. Let me explain what I mean. If x is 6 here, isn't this going to be negative 16? And if I plug in 6 again, is it going to be negative 16? And if I plug in 6 again, is it going to be negative 16 always, right? So this is a function. That works. If I plug in any x value, I'm only going to get one y value. Now, what about this guy? When x is 2, for example, isn't y going to equal plus or minus 8? Isn't that two different y values for the same value of x? 
So that would be a big fat no. Here, when x is 1, y would be uh, 1 minus 3, so it would be negative 2. That's going to work. Right? But now here, when x is 1 here, let's do the math. That equals 1 plus y squared, so y squared equals 8. How do I cancel the power of 2? Divided by? Come on, guys. We had a test on this already. You square root both sides. But when you square root an equation, don't I get plus or minus? Yes. And then what's the simplified version of square root of 8? Guys, remember that's 4 times 2. What's the square root of 4? 2 radical 2. Come on, guys. We haven't gone over that. Guys, have we or have we not? we got to remember those skills. Remember that I told you that now we're in Algebra 2. You guys finish Algebra 1 already. You're done. you got to remember Algebra 1, though, to succeed in Algebra 2. So does this make sense? Would, so would D be a function? No, guys. How can it be a function when you've got a positive 2 square root of 2 and a negative square root of 2 when x is 1? You cannot have two different y values for the same x value. Does that make sense? Vertical line test. You're going to love this one. Vertical line test helps determine whether a relation is a function. The vertical line test states that if a vertical line passes through more than one point on the graph of a relation, then the relation is not a function. And I'll explain why. Whatever value this x is, how many, time, how many y's does it hit? It only hits one time. And here? And here? And here? So yes. Now, when you have your x value here, how many different y's do I get? So is that a function? No. When I do a vertical line here, how many y's do I get for this x? Two. So is that a function? No. When I do a vertical line here, how many y's do I get for that x? So is that a function? Vertical line test rules. But you need to graph for that. You with me? May I continue? Okay, now. You know what? This is where I'm going to stop. I'm not going to be able to finish. Yeah, we still got quite a few pages. So instead of uh, killing you on this, let's just go ahead and stop right here. And this is where I'll pick up tomorrow. Okay? Thank you very much, guys. Have a great day.